Hey everyone. Uh, today we're going to upgrade the S8 to an all metal micro Swiss hot end. These things are absolutely amazing. Great stuff. I uh, suggest you get one. Uh, S8 is a good printer for the price. I haven't been real happy with the hot end. and let me down a few times. So it's going to get upgraded today. So, first thing, go ahead and start your printer up and uh, powered up and preheated, at least in all. I like to heat it up for at least man, at least five or ten minutes usually to get the uh, the mister out easily as well as the heater tube. In this case, I already had it out last night and uh, it'll come out a little bit easier. Anyway, preheating and we'll just take this cover off. Suggest you guys go get a get set of these, about ten bucks, fifteen bucks, nothing terribly expensive, but man, it'll make your life so much easier in the long run. I don't think it came stock with the zip tie right there anyway. I just like to take this loom and not have everything hanging. So go ahead and pull your fan assembly back. Be sure not to hit anything. Heat tubing out. And expose those real well. Go ahead and pull this camera up and show you. Forgive me. Not exactly set up for the best uh, webcam series yet. Uh, you can see since it's hot, I'm getting a little bit of leakage as is normal. Just make a mess, but no big deal. So, put this back up here. Okay. So, they got these grub screws. Usually, they're on the bottom. This one's on top, though. Looks like it takes about a one and a half millimeter socket or a set here. All right, rub screws out. It's hot. Go ahead and pop it off. I wouldn't use just your fingers. It uh, can be hot. See no more grub screws there. You get one of these little screwdrivers that come in most of your Corrality kits. Very helpful. Uh, you'll need it to get out uh, most of these motherboards. Put your wire connectors in. And your cartridge and thermistor. There you go. Both got them out. And power the printer down, otherwise you get a thermal runaway, or that heater tube will just keep heating up and it'll get red hot. This little sucker. Um, I'm not say anything bad, so I'll just keep my mouth shut. I know that's hot, but I doubt it'll set that cardboard on fire. Uh, now, we all know there's a problem with these. They do not want to stay tight, so while you have it exposed, I would go ahead and tighten them as best you can. They'll just screw clockwise, and you'll be able to tighten them. be no wiggle room anymore on there. All right, the Micro Swiss. Very easy to set up. If you 
you've never installed a micro Swiss before, they have a great video tutorial. It's not difficult. Uh, but as I always tell people, I recommend still going ahead and taking a look at it. Just, just to watch it once, you know, kind of familiarize yourself so there's no mishaps. It's, uh, it's nothing difficult. Now, I'm a firm believer in cheap brass nozzles. I don't know why, but I just seem to have the best luck with these things. They're about a, a buck a piece if you buy them in bulk. Uh, anyway, the Sunlu thermistor and such come in for a different angle, so you have to flip it. Normally, you would have, at least on a Corraldi, it would be on the right-hand side. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and flip it, which, no big deal, it'll still go in just the same. But be much easier this way. Uh, as always, tighten it up a little bit, but the majority of your, your tightening is going to be done as soon as it actually heats up. Get your thermal expansion going. set they gave me, right? And it has no grub screw in there, that's why. I didn't drink enough coffee this morning. Shout out to James and Rebecca. The uh, Sunlu team is great. They're always fast to answer any questions, help solve any problems. been very happy with their support. All right, so let me get that good and tight on there. Go ahead and put a nozzle in. And of course, remember, you're not going to want to super tighten it until everything's good and hot. Um, not a good idea to try to tighten this metal up too bad until it's actually good and warm. Thermal expansion in there, nothing cracked. I promise I'll find a better solution for audio here. Uh, I know this audio is probably absolutely horrible. Video is probably not too great either, but you know, I'm better at fixing printers than video production. So I'll get uh, I'll get Nick up one day here to uh, help out and get that rocking and rolling. You know, I don't see why we can't put this the other way. So I'm, I'm going to go actually, I'm going to put it back the way it came. Factory on the Corrali. And I think we'll be good. I prefer to have everything on the right side. So, oops, sorry. Mister for these things is pretty not the best design I've seen. Um, hopefully they'll come out with a little bit better quality version here soon. They put it on like a 10 foot wire and in the last few inches they wired the uh, actual thermistor in. It's just not a not a great design in my opinion.
remember when you get this thermistor in, you're not trying to you know, tighten this up so bad it'll never move because you actually rip those wires. They're very fragile, very thin. Uh, personally, I'm really surprised that nobody's come up with a little bit higher quality thermistor design. They're absolutely just cheap. Uh, I saw Gulf Coast Robotics used to have a really nice upgrade set up for a thermistor set that actually screwed in. Uh, but nobody's really applied that for other printers. Um, I had it on my mono price. They made a kit. And now we'll screw it in, and I'll put the heater cartridge in. I'm sure it's a little bit hot, but I'm not going to touch it and find out this time. Tighten these screws down and lock that heater tube in there good. Again, in a minute here, I'll actually power this sucker up, and then we will, one, we're going to verify our thermistor and heater tube are still good and intact, and two, we're going to actually tighten everything up. Uh, usually I heat it up to about 220. Just, just get it good and hot. I thought it was. All right. Uh, generally, recommend cutting your PTFE tube down about maybe 10 millimeters, just because it's not going down all the way to the top of the nozzle anymore. They go in about 2.5 millimeters in this setup into your, I wouldn't say it's a compression fitting anymore. It's a plastic guide would be the term maybe. I'm sure in comments I'll find all the, all the words I, I used incorrectly as usual, but uh, hopefully everybody's doing well. If you're watching this, I'm going to assume that you have a S8. Uh, I'd like to know your thoughts on the S8. Uh, I've heard a lot of negative stuff, but it's actually a good solid printer for the price. The frame is solid. Uh, I'm torn on my opinion of this belt. They've gone with thicker belts. It's not a standard GT2 belt. So all of the 600 feet of GT2 belts I have won't fit this and I need to look for a replacement. Now your your belt up top is standard GT2 style, although it's more of a rubbery look to it, but you know, nothing wrong with that. Uh, anyway, it's about 220 now, so I'm gonna tighten everything up. Everything's, uh, you know, German, German style, Guten type. And, uh, those are still just a little bit loose on there for some reason. They're not centered, so I don't know what the problem is. All right. So let's put this sucker back on. I'm going to go ahead and put this PTAP tube in there first. Turn it back a little bit there on the 
sat against the old compression fitting it wore in. Push that fitting up. Pop our spacer in there and it'll be good. Lock down, let's check. Yeah, we're good. Still don't like how that moves there. Zip tie this down and then we're good. Do not forget, once you upgrade to a micro Swiss, it's recommended to change your retraction down to about mm, something like this. I would say maybe three or four. Typically, I would have it sitting around seven, uh, but you need to lower it down if you get jams, lower it down even further, uh, and of course adjust it for, you know, I think everybody has different settings that they end up putting on. Uh, I believe Micro Swiss recommends setting your retraction to four, but again, that's on a uh, you know, Crowley, like on an Ender 3. This thing actually has a sh eh, about the same Bowden tube setup, I guess. So, nothing too bad. All right, put a new zip tie on there. And we're calling it good, guys. Voila!